In this video, we will talk about the benefits, components, and maintenance of the Fisher Type OSC Slam Shut. Before performing any work, always be sure to read and follow all safety precautions as they are outlined in the instruction manual. Type OSC refers to the standalone slam shut, while Type OSX refers to an integral configuration of the slam shut on regulators such as the EZH, EZR, or 627, making them the EZH OSX, EZR OSX, or 627 OSX. You will see both configurations in this video even though the narrative refers only to type OSC. Slam shut devices are used to completely and rapidly cut off gas flow when the pipeline pressure either exceeds or drops below set point pressure. The type OSC device consists of a valve, mechanism box, and either one or two modular sensing elements called manometric devices. The type OSC can be configured for OPSO, overpressure shutoff, UPSO, under pressure shut off, or both. In this video, we will take you through the general maintenance steps for a 1 inch to 6 inch type OSC device. For further details pertaining to specific sizes, please follow our instruction manual found on Emerson.com or contact your Emerson partner. The maintenance on a type OSC device can broadly be divided into main valve and the manometric sensing device. Let's start with the main valve. Open the mechanism cover. Trip the mechanism if it is not already released by moving pin D1. Remove the nuts or cap screws holding the bonnet to the body. The bonnet, valve plug with equalizer bypass, mainspring and small stem bushing will lift out of the body as a unit. Set the unit on a hard, flat surface with the valve plug at the bottom and press down on the bonnet to compress the main spring, allowing the stem to be unhooked from the coupling head. Use a spanner wrench to unscrew the equalizer bypass from the valve plug and access the valve plug o-ring. To remove the equalizer bypass from the coupling and coupling head, drive out the roll pin on the coupling. Attach a new equalizer bypass to the coupling using a roll pin. Screw the equalizer bypass into the valve plug with the plug disc and a new plug o-ring. Be careful not to nick or pinch the o-ring when tightening the equalizer bypass. Set the main spring in place on the valve plug. Attach the stem to the coupling head of the valve plug through the bonnet. Place the bonnet assembly onto the body using a new O-ring and a new external O-ring. Secure the bonnet by tightening down the nuts or cap screws. Remove the two cap screws holding the mechanism box to the bonnet and remove the mechanism box. Place the mechanism box onto the bonnet with the new gasket and attach using two cap screws and two flat washers. Let us show you how to arm the device. Let us proceed to the maintenance of the manometric sensing device, type BMS1 or BMS2. Disconnect the pressure sensing line from the manometric sensing device. If applicable, remove the BMS stripping hook from the adjustable stem of the BMS. Loosen and remove the hex head cap screws and O-ring at the mechanism box manometric device joint. Carefully pull the BMS away from the box, followed by a rubber joint gasket. Inspect the rubber joint gasket for deterioration or damage and replace if necessary. 
Loosen the adjustment lock nut on the adjusting screw. Then unscrew and remove the adjusting screw. Remove the BMS spring from the spring case. Loosen the cap screws and nuts on the casing and remove the pressure sensing casing to reach the diaphragm assembly. If diaphragm replacement is desired, loosen the hex nut that holds the diaphragm assembly to the valve stem. For assembly, proceed in reverse order. For more information, please contact your local Emerson sales office or visit emerson.com.